Are you interested in learning about ways to speed up the healing of your connective tissue while working on closing your diastasis with the Tupler Technique program? I'm Julie Tupler, creator of the Tupler Technique, and I'd like to introduce you to two products that will support you in doing this. The Together Tape and the Corrective Connective Tissue Cream. In week four of my program, after my clients have developed transverse muscle strength and awareness, I use the Together Tape. Because the skin on the belly is so sensitive, I prepare the skin with my Corrective Connective Tissue Cream. After you bathe, Dry the skin thoroughly, make sure your belly button is clean and dry. Put the cream on above and below your belly button. Put your splint on and you're good to go. You're probably wondering, so do I still use the cream after I'm taping? Yes, if you've gone in the shower with the tape on, put the cream on in between the tape. If you've gone in the shower without the tape on, then put the, tip, put the cream right down the center of your belly, above and below your belly button. You just need to use a little because a little will go a long way. The main purpose of this cream though is to nourish your connective tissue. Scientific evidence now supports that nutritional therapy is a key factor in healing connective tissue. I have created a sheet on nutrients for healing connective tissue. And on this sheet are the nutrients, the function of those nutrients, the foods with those nutrients that you should be eating to heal your connective tissue, and the ingredients in my cream with those nutrients for healing connective tissue. Below this video, there's a link. Click on it so that you can see this sheet. It'll be very helpful to you. The cream is made in the USA. It's all natural. It has no parabens, phthalates, petrochemicals, mineral oil, SLS. The cream can also be used as a face cream, which I do every night. Also, many men use it after shaving their face, um, and people use it on sunburn because it has aloe vera in it and it's very healing. You will also like the way it smells and feels. So let me talk about the tape now. Again, you start using the tape in week four of the program after you've developed transverse muscle strength and awareness. The purpose of the tape like the diastasis rehab splint, is to bring the muscles and connective tissue closer together. How does it work? When you stretch the tape and put it on the skin, immediately it wants to recoil to its original unstretched position. This recoiling is a communication between the skin and the connective tissue and muscles to move closer together. So the most important thing that you need to remember with taping is that the more you stretch it, the more aggressive this recoiling process is going to be. So you just want to remember to stretch it just a little. If you do break out from the tape, stop using it for about a week, use the cream, and then start back in a week and you should be fine. The tape lasts about four to six days. After that, let the skin rest for a day, use the cream on it, and then start back again. There are three sizes for the tape, small, medium, and large. The size depends upon the size of your diastasis where it's the largest. So if you have a large in the middle and a medium above and a medium below, you want to go with the large because the tape needs to be longer than the diastasis. So how do we do it? The protocol is we do one above and one below for the first week you're using it. If you do okay, then you do two above and two below. 
If you're okay, then you do three above and three below. The tape is water resistant, but not waterproof. So you have to make sure when you go in the shower to put a piece of plastic around you so it doesn't get too wet. So now I want to show you how to put it on. But let me say that the cream and the tape can be bought together as a package and you save $10 and they can also be bought individually. So now let me show you how to put it on. So here it is. I'm showing you the back of the tape. There's paper on the back. How to get the paper off. You hold on to the end and you pull. And that tears the paper right there. And now we want to tear it at the other end. Okay? Now we want to take the paper off the middle. Nice and slowly. Okay, and I want to hold on to the ends. Now I'm going to lift up my top here so I can show you how to put it on. Bring this down. I hold on to the ends. Now, it's very important that my knees are soft and that my abdominals are relaxed. Because if you tighten your abdominals, then the tape is not going to last that long. So I go a quarter inch above my belly button. I stretch it just a little. I put it on, smooth it out, and then take the ends off. The ends don't have to be stretched, okay? I do the same thing with the other one. Pull on this end, pull on this end, take the middle piece of paper off, nice and slowly, so that the tape doesn't come up into each other. My abdominals are relaxed, my knees are soft, and a quarter inch below, I stretch it just a little bit, put it on my skin here, Smooth it out, take the ends off here, and here. So this is what one above and one below looks like. And this is what we do the first week you're starting to take. The second week, if, this, if you are doing okay with it, then you do two above, two below. The third week, three above and three below. Okay, I hope this was helpful for you. Thanks.